Well, thank you for joining us on 13 on your, your side at six. I'm Christian Galeno. Breaking news at this hour. The House has passed a bill creating a pathway to citizenship for millions of younger undocumented immigrants known as dreamers. The bill would apply to those who entered the U.S. permanently before January 1st of this year and were 18 or younger at the time of entry. The 228 to 197 vote included nine Republicans voting in favor. CBS's Deborah Ferrone has the latest and she kicks off our coverage this evening. The Democrat-controlled House passed two immigration bills Thursday, saying now is the time to give legal status and a pathway to citizenship to about two million undocumented young immigrants known as DREAMers, as well as to hundreds of thousands of immigrant farm workers. DREAMers are doctors, nurses, lab technicians, contact tracers, and job creators. The votes come as the Biden administration deals with a huge influx of migrants hoping to seek asylum in the United States. We're voting on two bills that not only do nothing to address the problem, it ignores the problem, but will actually worsen the situation. The future of the bills is uncertain in the Senate as they face opposition from Republicans who blame the Biden administration for the situation at the border. These failing policies have us crowding these kids together down at the border. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas maintains the border is secure and explained on CBS this morning the Biden administration's policy towards unaccompanied minors. Some of these children are as young as seven, eight year old girls. And so we do not expel them back into the desert, but we say do not come because it is dangerous. Abraham Barbary helps minister to migrants at the border. For some reason, they think that the borders are going to be open. The Biden administration has created temporary shelters, including one in Dallas, to process thousands of unaccompanied teens. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.